code. In this video, we're going to solve a related problem constructing a binary tree from the pre-order and in order traversal. This problem is a classic one asked in the interviews to test your understanding of binary tree properties and the tree traversal techniques. Let's dive in. So given a two integer arrays, p order and in order, where the p order is the pre order traversal of a binary tree and in order is the in order traversal of a binary tree, uh, so construct and write in the binary tree. So here, the goal is to construct a binary tree from a given pre order and in order traversal arrays. Uh, in binary trees, the pre order traversal visits the root node first, then recursively visits the left sub tree and the right sub tree. Uh, in order traversal recursively visits the left sub tree and visits the root node and then the right sub tree. So Given these two arrays, the task is to reconstruct the original binary tree and return the root of the tree. So here, in a given example, we see that the pre-order is given as this and in order is given as this. So we have to return a constructed tree. So basically, if you see this, this is the level order traversal. Uh, so this three is in first level, so we have three at first, and then nine twenty, the next level, and then none level because this nine has no childs. So and the twenty, uh, we have fifteen seventeen. So we have fifteen seventeen here. So in example two, uh, we see that the pre-order is given as minus one. So in order is given minus one. So the output is minus one. So constraints are pre-order length is in the enclosure range of one to three thousand, and in order length is equal to the pre-order length. And uh, so each node, uh, like each element value in the pre-order, or uh, in order is uh, in the enclosure range of minus three thousand to three thousand, and uh, the both in order and the pre-order uh, consists of unique values. Uh, so each value of the in order also appears in, in the pre-order because this is a traversal of the same tree. So pre-order is guaranteed to be the pre-order traversal of the tree and in order is guaranteed to be the in order traversal of the tree. So this is the given uh, initial bother plate. So let's dive into the output. Let's look into the algorithm. So base case, so when the pre-order or in order slices have no elements, we return the none. So when the next is to identify the root. Uh, so the first element in the pre-order list is always the root of a binary tree. So first, uh, find the root in the in order. So for that, we need to search for the root in the in order list to determine the left and the right subtrees. And then next is divide and conquer. The elements left of the root in the in order uh, form this left subtree, and the elements to the right form the right subtree. So recursive, next is recursive construction. So recursively apply the above steps to construct the left and right subtrees by slicing the pre-order and in order arrays accordingly. Let's look at the first shot here. So here, uh, this is just a translation of an algorithm here. So we just start and then uh, start with identify the root from the pre-order and then find the root in the in order and the split in order to left and right subtrees. So recursively, uh, we uh, go with the left subtree and create a left subtree. And similarly for the right subtree and we return the root, this is the end. So to understand it more uh, properly, so let's go over the generic pre-order and in order traversal. So that would give you an idea. So here, um, the, for the pre-order traversal of the given tree, it's like, as I said, it's always the root, left, and the right. This applies in a recursive fashion, this is a depth of service fashion. So first we go A and B, and then next we explore all the B's shells. So D, and then we don't have other shell. So we explore the shells of A now. So C, and then C's shells, E and F. So that consolidates the uh, pre-order traversal. So here we have the in order traversal where we visit the left root and the right. So this happens for recursive for each subtree. So first we short the left most element that is the D and then uh, we go over its uh, root which is B and then uh, we go over the B's root which is A and the next and the next is E because we go over the left shell first right. So and then next is C and next is F. So uh, as we see here so in the pre-order traversal, the, always the first element is the root of the tree. And then, so if you find the uh, index of the uh, root in the in order traversal, we can easily separate the what is the left tree and the right tree, I mean the sub trees, right? So here we have A, so the left sub, part sub tree begins like uh, B and D, and this con right tree comes of C, F. So we can easily segregate that uh, if we find the ro uh, root index, right? So the same approach we're gonna follow. So let's go the dry run. So here, let's take the uh, pre-order as it gives. Uh, so we have the pre-order and the in-order traversals. So the first step is to pick the uh, root, that is three from the pre-order. And then uh, in order, the three uh, splits the array uh, into the left, that is nine, and the right, which is like 15, 20, and seven. 
next is we request to repeat for the last subtree the pre-order nine and uh, in order nine. So since we divide and conquer, we just send uh, these two uh, on the thing. And the, the other part we have the right subtree which we send the pre-order is uh, same thing twenty fifteen and seven, and the in order is fifteen and twenty and seven. So next we recursively reconstruct the left and right subtrees and then we combine the subtrees in the root three. So this is a dry run. Let's look into the code explanation. So as we uh, discussed, uh, there is no pre-order in order uh, with a written none because we don't have any pro like if both exist only we can uh, determine the tree. If not, we can't determine. So we did a none. So we get the root value here uh, using the pre-order of zero because always the zeroth element is the root in the pre-order as as we seen. So and then the we get the root constructed using the tree node. So that is true, tree node of root value which is the root. So and then we we get the root index and the in order by finding the dot index uh, by using the dot index method or the in order and this gives us the idea of where uh, root exists in an order traversal. So whatever uh, uh, left to that is a left subtree and whatever right to that is a right subtree. So uh, with that uh, we we need to segregate a pre order traversal as well because uh, the index gives the length until which uh, the tree exists right so for that we have to slice as well because we need to recursively construct the left subtree for the left subtree we need to uh, send the part of the tree which only concerns the left subtree so what we're doing is uh, we're taking the pre-order uh, list and for constructing the left tree uh, we're moving it with one because uh, root is already done so we have to consider the next element that is one and uh, we have to take consider an, until root index so we place in root index plus one since the this is exclusive range so why root index uh, here because we know the uh, until that length in the um, uh, we have the left subtree uh, this we got from the here right index basically that is definitely says that uh, until this length because this somewhere it lies in the middle right we have the left subtree and the right subtree and in middle we have the in order uh, like in other root so this length, whatever we have, that says uh, how much part uh, is the left subtree. So we need to consider the length portion for the left subtree. So we're slicing it for the left subtree. And similarly here, we're slicing the in order for the left subtree. That is um, until the root index minus one. So we consider till root index, that would be just like this exclusive range that takes care of root index minus one. So we have uh, the right sub reconstructed here uh, with the same logic. So we consider with root index plus one because root index is already processed here. Uh, and then in in order also same uh, root index plus one because the root index is of course processed here as well. And then we return the root. So complex analysis. So time complexity in the worst case uh, would be O of n square. This is in the case where the tree is queued that is all nodes have only one shell. Uh, so this occurs to the need to search to the in order array to find the root index leading to the quadratic time complexity. Uh, space complexity is off and this is due to the request. Time on conclusion. So I got the code right here. Let's try some in this. So is the accepted solution. So the conclusion. This problem illustrates the depth of understanding ne needed for the three data structures and regression. Mastering such techniques not only boosts your problem solving skills but also is crucial for easing the technical interviews in software developer roles. Remember, visualizing the problem and breaking it down to manageable port is a key to solve scoring challenges effectively. Thank you for tuning in with us to the Hacker. If you found this video helpful, I'll be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and phone contacts. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please leave them in the comments below and the next time have a good day.